welcome to the channel. This is episode 54, which is all about marking forwarded emails as unread using Power Automate. Let's go. This is a, another Ask the Audience episode where I do take requests from viewers and try to address their use case and make a video and share it with all of you. So today what we're going to do is we are going to talk about how can we mark forwarded emails as unread. So naturally we've got Power Automate and its rich ability to automate email processes, whether that can be sorting, parsing, and even forwarding emails. Now when we talk about forwarding, you may want to keep the email that you forwarded in an unread state. By default, when you do forward an email, whether you've read it or not, essentially Power Automate is reading it. And as a result, even though the email does get forwarded, the original gets moved into an unread state. So if you're trying to manage your own inbox, perhaps through sorting, unread, that won't be reflected here. And so that's the goal here is how can we get that email that you just forwarded back to a red state? And so how we can accomplish this ultimately is through the mark as read or unread action that is also part of the Office 365 Outlook connector. Before we dive deeper into the content, I wanted to let you know about an emerging community found at serverlessnotes.com. This is a community resource that covers best practices, tips, and latest announcements built on contributions by technology enthusiasts from around the globe. On serverlessnotes.com, you'll find content related to Power Automate, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Service Bus, Azure Functions, and much, much more. Serverlessnotes.com is brought to you by Serverless360, a portal that is focused on operations and support for Microsoft Azure serverless resources. Now, this is a complementary tool to the Azure portal, and it helps organizations in supporting Azure serverless applications. You can find out more about Serverless 360 at serverless360.com. And this is the action that I was referring to. So what we have is it is part of the Office 365 Outlook connector, and we do need to include the message ID. Now this will be the original message that was received. We are going to reset it back. And what we do is it's not super intuitive, but we've got mark as read or unread. And then what we're saying here is mark as and in this case, we want it to be unread, so we're going to set no. If we wanted it to be marked as read, we would go ahead and set this to yes. So that's how that works. So let's go ahead and let's jump into a demo just to see this live. All right, so let's take a look at our flow design, and then we'll actually go ahead and run it. So here I've got my email trigger. I do have a subject filter, but that's just so I don't have other emails coming into this flow that I, I don't want to actually process. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to forward this email, right? So I'm just forwarding it to another address. I need to link the message ID from the original email itself. And then I'm going to use that same message ID when it comes to mark as read or unread, as I showed you in the slides just a few moments ago. And so what happens is when we send an email, this will set the, when we forward an email rather, this will set this original email into a red state. And then what we want to do is then essentially revert it back. So just to show this in real time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a delay here of just a few seconds, just so it's easier to illustrate exactly how this, the, the behavior of uh, this specific action itself. So let's set that for seven seconds. Let's go ahead and let's hit save. Now I'm going to transition over to Office 365 and the Outlook web client. I'm going to go ahead and create a new message. Right, so here let's just send the, em the email. I'm gonna once again have, have a subject so it gets picked up by the filter and I'm just gonna have a message here. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's hit send. So great, first email has been received. See, now it's flipped from an unread to a red state and if we give it seven seconds here, we're going to see it reverted back and now it's back in a red state. And so the whole purpose of this is if you do have a process where you do need to forward emails, but you still need to do something with the original, this will allow you to do that. But the problem is, is when you forward an email, Outlook is assuming that you've read it. And since I, we have a machine doing that, that's not always going to be the case. Very quick video, but hopefully that provides you with some value if you are in the position of forwarding emails and trying to maintain the original read state. 
All right, so that concludes another video, episode 54. Thanks for tuning in. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. As I mentioned, this is episode 54 uh, in the last year, like ever since January. So I am posting quite regularly. In addition, feel free to reach out and follow me on Twitter at Weirzy. That is where you'll find me. Take care and we'll see you again soon on the channel.